the scorecard rocks. There's no way this would have happened without it. The scorecard, it really helped to focus our initiative. It helped us to identify opportunities that we had not pursued. And that's one of the great things about it. Everybody needs a report card. How am I doing today? And it helps every day. I thought we were being sustainable as an organization, but once we went through that scorecard with A Better City, then it was very eye-opening. There were a lot of things that we weren't doing and we realized we could do. A Better City worked with us to establish our goals. We sat down around the table, Megan, David, and um, some of my colleagues and myself, and we, we looked to see in the various categories, what are we doing, what are we not doing, what's achievable, what's reasonable, what's a reach. We committed to improving our sustainability scorecard by 20% this year. We are nothing if not ambitious, so I'm sure that we're going to succeed. We tried to set goals for ourselves that we felt were reasonable, but yet would actually push us to the next level. Going through the scorecard itself was a relatively simple process, and that's one of the great things about it. Yes, no, greater than, less than, so it helps to make the process of reviewing and filling it out a lot easier. Especially when you have somebody that's sitting right next to you that knows, like Megan, that actually put the scorecard together. If you didn't quite understand what that particular item meant, then she was right there to just say, okay, well that's what that means. Okay, I think we can do that. So our improvement was 267%. It was an incredible increase and I was certainly very proud of, of, of that number and, and what we did, again, not only as the building owner, but just all the employees here pitching in to, to make this work. The challenge to the challenge can sometimes be when the buildings are running as effectively as they can, you have to find creative ways to get that number up and do something a little bit better. It's not about just getting at the low-hanging fruit, it's really about how do we be innovative, creative, what are the opportunities that we can really get out of participation in this program. It really helped to get it all in one place and, and figure out what an action step should be for us as, a, as an organization. We're not just doing this on our own, we wanted to take advantage of the resources that were available to us by participating in the challenge. One thing about the challenge that's really unique is that we get to interact with a lot of different kind of companies. At ABC, it's really, it's a mix of um, commercial developers, landlords, tenants. And it's interesting to be involved with bankers and attorneys and people that have other considerations other than yours. Hearing about what other people are doing, you're networking at meetings, you're getting new ideas, and it really does, I think, um, create an environment where you want to do more. We were able to do quite a bit. Number one, you want to achieve your goal, but hey, can we even surpass our goal? I want to be 